Hello everyone. So I'm taking a break from Sanctuary for this build because my god, I've been building there for what? Nearly two months now and really just need a break, need a change of scenery. So I'm going to build a hunting cabin. And I got this idea from Ethan Barry like six months ago. And I said that I would do it, which I wanted to, I just got a little sidetracked. And I also got inspiration from Commonwealth Charlie, who has a similar build, which is really good. You should totally check out his channel. But yeah, I was wandering around looking for a place to build this, and I found this area, which is perfect, because I wanted to build it close to a cliff in a remote place that overlooks some water, and this seemed like the perfect spot. For those of you who are wanting to build in the same area, it's over here at the very top of the map by the recon bunker. So I used the mod Conquest to get the workshop out here. This mod is great because you can pretty much build anywhere you want to. And there is a similar mod on PS4 called Workbench Anywhere, which was created by the same author as USO. So PS4 users, if you want to check that out, it's probably the best alternative. Now, you can build this structure with or without mods, and I'm going to show you both in this video. Obviously, you can't build in this location without mods, but there are plenty of settlements that you can build this cabin in. Alright, so this is going to be a very simple build. I just placed down two shack foundations, and now I'm snapping in some smaller floors. You can use whichever pieces you want. I'm using a few different kinds just to mix up the textures a bit. And there we go! We just need to add in some stairs, and the foundation is done. Alright, switching over to the walls, I'm just picking out a few vanilla items. So it's just going to be outer walls on the sides and outer caps in the back, which are a little bit bigger. And so far, I haven't used any modded pieces. These are all from the base game. But this first build is going to have mods in it in just a second. Probably should have mentioned that. The first build, this one, is with mods. The second build coming up in just a bit is without mods. And since I just said the word mods so many times, let's start using some. So with Workshop Rearranged in the Support tab, we get these really cool looking support posts that snap under these walls, which I love because, I mean, why not? Look at them. They look great and they are very supportive, which is all you really need, right? Good looks and support. Am I right? Ah, uh, I hope my wife didn't hear that. Nothing! I love you. All right, after we put in the corner caps, I'm gonna switch over to the mod vanilla extensions for these roofs. I have been looking for roofs like this for a while, and this is the only mod that I have found them in. And I know we have this style of roof in the barn and warehouse tab, but they're not the same, damn it. And, uh, and that damn it wasn't directed towards you guys. It was directed towards... Well, just me arguing with myself, because I'm weird. Anyways, I'm placing half walls down on the sides and then snapping in a doorway, all using flat wall pieces. You can use any style that you want here. Yeah, I keep whistling when I say certain words. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I sound like Herbert from Family Guy. You know, the creepy old man. Come on, Jesse. We're gonna show these nice people how to build a cabin in Fallout 4 by Bethesda. Mm. Okay, this is getting a little off the rails. So in G2M Workshop, there are these half roofs that work great for patios. So I'm going to use those and then switch back to the support tab in the wood section to place down some more posts because you guys know that I have to make a front porch, right? It's, it's what I do best. So after I snap in the post, I'm just going to put in some railings and that's it. See, it's a pretty simple build and I think the decorations really help bring it to life. This is a hunting cabin, yeah, but I decorated it for like a small family that lives here. Maybe a parent and a couple of kids. You'll see a lot of fish racks during the tour since they live right here by the lake. Just a lot of stuff like that. I try to think about what would they have, you know, what would be on the kitchen counter or on the dining room table. So keep an eye out for those little details. Now time for the one without mods. I'm only using the mod Conquest so I can build in the same spot for comparison, but there are no structure mods active. Let's take a look, let's prove it. So I have the ultimate patch mod, which helps with the game fixes, and see no other mods are active except for Conquest. Everything else is turned off. All right, are we cool, good? All right, so the first part is identical to the first build because I didn't use any mods. So I'm gonna fly past this part. Okay, here I want to have a corner cap in the middle, so I have to remove the outer cap and then snap in the corner cap and then place it back in, otherwise it wouldn't work. And for the roofs, I'm going to use these from the wood tab. Nothing crazy, but they look nice. But the part that's really going to be different is the front porch, because we don't have a lot of the pieces that I used in the first build. So since we don't have wood posts, I'm going to use scaffolding that we get from the Contraptions DLC. And you just want to line it up to where it's slightly under the roof and right up against the floor. 
From there, snap in these scaffolding floors on top and make sure that you use the same size as I am. So small ones on the end and a half scaffolding floor in the middle. And make sure that they are straight, which they are. So now we place in the patio floor the same way that we did the first build. Now to put the scaffolding frame back in, you place it close to where we had it and then select the top part of the frame and pull it down to where it snaps, you see? So I'll do it a few more times since it can be tricky. So we're going to use the wider frame that matches the half floor, place it down to where it's green, and then select the top part and pull it down until it snaps. And you want to make sure that the patio floor is placed down first because the floor pieces won't snap if the scaffolding frame is there. Alright, now to snap in the railings and the stairs. You'll see that one of the stairs won't snap in because the scaffolding frame is a little off and in the way. So I have to remove the frame, snap in the stairs, and get the frame back in with the same technique that I just showed you. And for the walls on the side, we can use these corner walls. They are very forgiving and actually look pretty cool. I used to use these guys all the time, man. This brings back memories. Anyways, the last part is the doorway. Now that has to go in last since we have to use the rug glitch. And it's pretty simple. Just place down the door frame, place a rug next to it to where it's on the same level as the bottom of the frame, and then hold A to select both of them. And then just move it to where you want it and watch for it to turn green like so and place it down. And there we go. Oh right, so the last, last part is making these walls look stable. I like to use these bridges, but you can't really place them close enough underneath the walls, so you have to line one up just on the outside, make sure that it's straight, and then you can snap other bridges to it to go under the walls. And you do have to play around with it a little bit to make sure the ones that snap in are high enough, but it's fairly easy to get them to look good. But that's it for the build. Now before I forget, I have to announce the winner of the Season Pass giveaway. So I wasn't expecting as much activity or nearly as many comments as I got on that video. And there was just so much positivity on there, which really means a lot to me. So I decided that instead of choosing one winner, I would choose two. That's right, two winners both get their own season pass that contains all the DLCs for Fallout 4. Now, I used a program that automatically selected the winners. I figured that would be the fairest way to do it. So here they are. Congratulations, guys. Just send me a private message from my channel with which platform you need the season pass on and an email address to where I can send the codes. And thank you all for your support. I'm definitely going to do more of these as much as I can, probably once a month. But yeah, thanks for watching. I did decorate the first build, so stick around for the tour.
Alright, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Check out this next video, which YouTube suggested solely for you, which is pretty cool. And if you enjoyed this build, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.